Добрый вечер, Юлия из Роскор Медиа. Сегодня мы находимся в Садербис. Это крупнейший аукционный дом. Сегодня здесь проходит Red Auction. В поддержку этого аукциона приехали такие звезды, как Bano, HSU2 и другие актеры. Специально для Famous. How are you? This is an honor. Red Square Pleasure TV. You. Yeah, Red Square Media. How are you? I wanted to just ask you a question. You guys rocked Moscow. Oh, come on. You guys rocked Moscow. In the, we, we're in the rain. In the rain. <laughs> But Very you know, memorable it, day for us. It's Very an memorable. interesting thing about rock fans. Do, they love nothing more than watching rock stars get rained on. <laughs> it sort of sorts it all out. You know, we're, we're all in sense. there together. But we, it was an amazing show, and um, we had an amazing time in Moscow. Incredible. I mean, it was very monumental in your in your in your career of your band. And what was what was what going through your mind, and what what was the moment like when you first landed in the city? Um, and yeah, age had been know, there before. Like, you know, in the yeah, I'd been there the 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 end of the Gorbachev era, but for like a couple of days. So I was fascinated to like see what had changed in the in the period between, and it was just such a thrill to to see the city in such a great you know positive attitude with with so much going on it was seemed to be so so good so the real thrill for me and we were like kids i mean we got to tour the kremlin we did we did so many wonderful things while we were there it was really a memorable trip a friend of ours organized a room full of cossacks i mean 50 cossacks and we thought you know that we're the big irish macho rock bands right. We felt like little girls <laughs> next to this sound they made. Right. Just this, it's like, wow, these, these yeah. voices. I mean, it's, it was blood curdling stuff. It was like, whoa, it was like motorhead yeah. uh, of voices. Uh, Russia in some ways, some people would say is misunderstood. What's the most understood uh, song that you guys have? The most understood or misunderstood? Misunderstood. Um, well, I think early on we had a song called uh, Sunday Bloody Sunday, which a lot of people misinterpreted as a revolutionary song where it was trying to acknowledge the history of, of, of our country, recent history, but it was actually a, a song that was trying to put the argument violence. against violence. It was a song of nonviolence. We, we've committed, because we come from Ireland, which has had a very, so difficult struggles, political struggles, and our heroes are always non-violent um, heroes, whether it was Dr. King in, in the United States in the civil rights movement, or there's a fellow called John Hume in Ireland, and I'm sure, you know, in Russia, anyone who's, who's you know, it's important to protest, But it's more courageous and extraordinary if that protest is kept non-violent and harder for the authorities to to uh, to deal with as well, which is good. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. It was an honor. Thank you very Thanks. Much. Thanks. Thank you very much.